Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. In this presentation, I'm gonna continue my series of videos on Laplace transforms. Now here, in this uh, example, we're given a periodic function with period big T. And we're asked to show that the Laplace transform of this periodic function f, whatever it is, is this uh, integral here. Now, firstly, you'll see that this is not uh, an improper integral. It's just an integral from zero to big T. So that, this suggests it might be easy to compute. And then in the next part of the exercise, we're asked to compute this, uh, the transform of this particular periodic function where the period would be big T equals two. And this is how um, the function is defined on the interval zero to, to two. Now remember, uh, periodic function is just a, a function whose graph repeats itself. So for example, in this case here, this kind of function is known as a square wave, which is an important uh, function in applied mathematics and physics. So it's one from zero to one. And then it's zero from one to two. And then this um, uh, part says that f is periodic with period two. So we've drawn the graph of the function on the interval zero to two. Then all you do is you take the graph, you copy it, and you shift it, and you paste it. You copy it, you shift it, and you paste it. So you shift it two units, okay? So if I was to do that, then I would get the following. Okay, and you copy that bit, shift it two units, and paste it. So this is how you can draw the uh, graph of a periodic function. Okay, so um, you can see that essentially the behavior of f is completely determined on uh, everywhere, just on the interval zero to two. And another thing that we're going to use is that if f uh, is periodic with period uh, big T, This implies the following. For every integer n, this is true. Okay, now, um, as a little exercise, you might wanna see if you can prove that. Okay, so let's call um, this part A, and let's call this part B. Okay, so we asked to come up with this general representation first. All right, now, by definition, the Laplace transform, which we denote by this curly L, is an integral transport, uh, transform. So basically what you do is you form an improper integral by multiplying the function of t by this exponential and integrating by uh, with respect to t. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, essentially, if I integrate, for example, from zero to big T, then from big T to big two T, then from, uh, uh, sorry, to, to two big T, then from two big T to three big T, etc. So integrate from here to here, and then integrate from here to here, and then integrate from here to here, and add them all up, then it's the same as this integral, okay? And the, the, the key, um, uh, a key property there will be the periodicity of our F. So let's, let, let's break this up into the following. Uh, that's a E. Okay. All right, so that's just basically integrating over each um, interval of interest. So now what we're going to do is bring this identity in, in, in a minute, but first what we're going to do is make a change of variables. We want to get essentially get the lower limit to a zero and upper limit to a, to a t, a big t. So let's make a change of variables. 
So I'm going to let t be x plus n times big T. So dt is just dx. And OK, when t equals nt, OK, you, you'll see that gives x equals 0. So we get a lower limit of integration. And when t equals n plus 1 times big T, um, x will equal. So you're going to, the nt is going to cancel out, and you're going to be left with a big T. All right. So uh, that'll pass transform then. Is the following. So this sum's still going to be here. We're going to be integrating from zero to t, big T, with respect to x. Let's replace little t with this. And I can replace little t with that in the argument of f. And I'm going to have a dx over here. OK, so now um, we can break up this exponential function and we can simplify this through what I was explaining up here. OK, you've got you, essentially you've got x, little x here instead of little t, but it, it, it's the same principle. OK, so let's break this up. Now, firstly, if I um, use my exponent laws, I'll get an e to the minus s n big T. Now, that has nothing to do with x, so I can move that outside the integral sign and write it like this. OK. I'm going to be left with uh, e to the negative s x. And this will just go to fx from this uh, part up here. OK, well, if I just put these brackets in, what have you got over here? We've actually got a geometric uh, sum or series in e to the minus s big T. So there's a formula for that because the, the thing in brackets is always uh, between 0 and 1. So the formula for that is the following. OK, it's 1 on 1 minus whatever's in the brackets. OK, and this is just, we, we can just, just keep it the same. OK, so do we have what well, up here? Well, if you compare this, you go, OK, well, I've got t's here and x's here. But you can, you can change back, OK? So, because x is a dummy variable here, t is a dummy variable here, so we can, we can change back easily. So let's just change back so it's what we have up here. And we're done. OK? All right, well, let's apply this result to an example, this square wave type uh, function here. Essentially, to compute the, Lapl the Laplace transform of this, all you want to do is apply this um, formula for a specific big T and a specific F. OK, so. big T equals 2. So the Laplace transform is something like this. So it's going to be minus 2s. Now, normally we would integrate, of course, from 0 to big T. So you go from 0 to, to 2. But you can see for, for this part of the interval of interest, the function is just 0. So we don't really need to integrate all the way to 2. We can just integrate from 0 to 1. Okay, and on, on this interval, 
the function is just the constant function 1. So now it's just a matter of uh, evaluating this. So we can integrate with respect to t, keeping uh, s uh, as a constant, if you like, and we'll get the following. So when su we sub in t equals 1 and t equals 0, I'll get 1 up here. So I will get the following. Okay, now you can clean this up a little bit if you want to. Um, you can factorise this and you can actually cancel off the, uh, the denominator. Okay, so factor this into, you know, uh, 1 minus e to the minus s and 1 plus e to the minus s. And you should end up with something like the following. Yeah, so that is my transform. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I hope you found it useful. I'll be doing some more presentations on the Laplace transforms in the future. I hope you can join me for those presentations.